So, has anyone ever thought about um, how technology technology is very competitive in a very very extreme way? No. Okay. Well, uh, uh, going with that, there's a little more to it than just um, technology itself. It's just, I'm specifically referring to how it's competitive within our own little devices and even the workforce computers, which are trying to get our attention. So. Uh, the information that I have provided, are, it's all about referring to, um, is to try to make sure, to try to increase or, no, gain or create or gain awareness of technology itself, uh, referring to the hardware and software companies uh, specifically. Uh, since they are very involved in everything that's uh, possible while we just do our everyday activities. It also implies that we need to give some appreciation to the programmers, developers, etc., on what they've done to make sure with what we have today. I can assure to be credible since this is a topic I've been talking about for quite a while. And it's just one of those things that I'm really engaged in. So from this speech, uh, I want to make sure that the idea of software can be more appreciated and appreciation with people who will develop this stuff, um, these kinds of things. So I will be referring to how, it, how technology changes the way we communicate, how it's so around us uh, with the softwares referring to operating systems, and how, how it's very competitive even without our notice. So, I, first I will begin with uh, how technology changes the communication. It, it, changes, it changes in the sense of um, how it's evolved over time with how we communicate, with telephones and telegrams dominating, and then texting in the 80s, and then social media going through to today. And it's all about pretty much just a, a division between all of them. So, uh, so the, the communications that we have between everyone is mostly just social media. According to Kit Smith, uh, what he said back in March, March 7, 2016, that there are 2.3 billion of us who are on social media. And these are pretty much a lot of examples that I have of social media. So with that going on, this is pretty much the amount of active users um, with Facebook. This is the most, 1.71 billion, comparing that to Twitter, who's just, just a little bit past 300 million active users. But beside, uh, besides talking all of the um, all the active um, social media users, these are not all of them since pretty much there's everyone else, but it can be differentiated by just a few million, a million, or maybe a hundred million. Now that I've talked about how, it, how technology changes our ways of communicating, I want to talk about how it's uh, all around us. So, second with um, how technology is uh, all around us, it's been available with programs and applications to operating systems. It's been exi in existence for a long time. It, it started with coding back in the 60s to programs and, and web browsers in the 90s and today, just pretty much uh, everything mashed up together. And, and, uh, um, and a couple of other things. And these are several of the operating systems out there. There's a lot more and it's hard to list all of them in here. So uh, for sure, the big one with the computer operating system, it's with uh, Microsoft and its Windows. They take over the 90% of the computers in the world. With Android, um, would be the smartphone and tablet area, it's over 80%. Um, Uh, and, uh, and that was according to marketshare.com back in, uh, back in, uh, back last month. So now that I've finished talking about operating systems, I want to talk about the competition between the major software companies and, and hardware companies. Hardware companies themselves, they just, um, they just sell the hardware. That's it. That, that's how they make the money. Software, it's through selling stuff as well, but uh, also making subscription plans. And it, it, it's kind of like cell phone plans, but no extra charges and no hidden charges. Um, before using them, so um, so they're, they're pretty much uh, uh, so several of these companies are finding to be sure that they're the best uh, within their softwares. And 
and, then, and to have a lot of subscribers available uh, and to sustain them. There's a competition, the uh, big one latest, latest one was Salesforce and Microsoft, and it's pretty much due to the LinkedIn acquisition, uh, but that's another story to tell. Uh, besides, besides the software companies themselves uh, with their software subscription plans, they have a new front going through, which is right here, virtual reality. So uh, Facebook with their Oculus, Rift, and Microsoft with their HoloLens, their, and others are fighting to be the first and widely acceptable amongst many, uh, and amongst a wide audience. So, well, with them it was pretty much just try to be available and be the best, and just try to be very interactive. And uh, on October 7th, October 7th, John Martindale said that Microsoft and its HoloLens were already shown to people, and it was pretty much, pretty much a, pretty much making sure that that they're able to understand with what's going on. And I want to uh, finish up. So pretty much with all of these, uh, I have talked about making sure that uh, technology has uh, changed our ways of communication and <clears throat> and how it's uh, all around us and uh, this widely um, widely used and how it how it how it has been very competitive especially with just pretty much everyone with their brands and trying to make sure that they're all in circles so uh, I'm hoping with this speech there's a, there's an understanding of making sure that you you would be able to understand that there's a lot more than just what's out there um, and as well as to conclude it making sure that you can take appreciation with everything and if you see something small try to think about uh, try to take a second thought about it and take a take a little research just to be sure how how there's a little bit more than what you think thank you